representing Octos Jiu Jitsu, Cade Rutolo. Cade Rutolo of Octos Jiu Jitsu makes his Black Belt Gi debut here at the IBJJF Absolute No Gi Grand Prix. Just 21 years of age, Cade promoted to Black Belt all the way back in 2021. He's focused on No Gi, now he's back in the Gi. And this one, it's fair to say, like I said, Jake, one of the most highly anticipated matchups of the night. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Natan Chuang. Natan Chuang returns for another GP super fight. Had an amazing one against Jackson the Guy in late 2023. Now he's back to take on Cade Rutolo. Silver medal last year at the, at the Brasileiros, silver medal at the Pans. Here we go. Cade Ruotolo with the gi on. Last time we saw Cade in the gi was the 2021 World Championships. He was a brown belt, competed in the lightweight division, made the final with his brother Ty Rutolo. The time he competed in the gi before that, 2019 at the Worlds in the juvenile division as a blue belt. Both athletes going to receive a penalty. And as you can see, Cade Rotolo, a very unorthodox, very unconventional athlete. Cade, very respectful and admiring of Natan's game. Said Natan had a great guard, that he was an animal. Oh! Cade in on a shot, collects both the legs. Drives Natan down to the mat. What a way to start the match. Two points for Cade Rotolo. That's another part of Cade Rotolo is he is a showman. Always moving in very dynamic ways. Natan gets to the single leg axe. Good position now. Great start to the match. Cade Rotolo gets the early double leg. Puts Natan down. It's crazy to think that this is Cade Ruotolo's black belt debut. Cade said yesterday in the press conference that his goal is to be one of the best martial artists. He wants to compete gi, he wants to compete no gi. I think he just likes challenges, and this is definitely another one in his career. He even made mention of competing in MMA, which we have, we've been hearing uh, him talk about it, him and his brother talk about training MMA and their plans in the future for that. They're still both so young. Has black belt at 18 years old. Just 21 now. Uh, Tan Shuang, unfortunately, making a uh, illegal grip on the inside of the gi there. Tan in a good, good position. Gets to the X guard, back to the single leg X. This definitely isn't a one-off gi match for Cade. Said he wants to compete at the Worlds. Has plans for a lot more gi competition. Which is very, very exciting. Kate for a moment there looked like he was going for an esteem lock submission that he definitely highly favors. Good position by Natan. Not Both not pant grips. Natan Looks like he's putting Kate down. Kate keeping his hips up off the mat. And so far, Kate doing what he can to avoid the sweep. Spinning underneath. What a scramble. Oh my goodness. This is Build a Bear Jiu Jitsu by Cade Rotolo. <laughs> Tom looked like he had a great position to finish the sweep. Both pant grips coming up on top. Cade just posted his hands on the mat, spun out of it. Yeah, who does that? Cade Rotolo does that. Tom pulls guard, gets to his close guard. Immediately standing up is Cade Rotolo. Hey. 
Wilkins to guard. Cade looking to break that grip that Natan Chalang has over that left hand, over the, uh, his right leg, rather. Another good sweeping position from Natan Chuang. Yeah, very good job elevating, getting into the leg. Now, last time he was able to find both pant grips and turn this into a sweep, or at least a sweep attempt, rather, before Cade broke the rules of jiu-jitsu to escape. Tom's got that grip on the far pant, hitting the bicep, trying to spin under Cade Rutolo. Cade throws that foot off the bicep. We're five minutes into this black belt super fight. I've just have absolute no-gi Grand Prix. Cade Rutolo's black belt gi debut. Started it off with a quick double leg. Put two points on the board. And he's been trying to pass Natan Chuang's guard since. Yeah, and not given an easy match in his black belt debut. Either. Absolutely This is not. a tough first black belt fight. Yeah, Natan Chuang, European and Brasileiro, silver medalist in 2023. One of the toughest lightweights in the world. He might look for a Dars here off of this, off of this lapel grip. We saw him kind of motion for it earlier. Said yesterday that it's been a dream of his since he was a kid to win the Worlds in the Gi as a black belt. This is his first step. First black belt match in the Gi. So far in command, looking for a leg drag now. They try to kick that leg out, but Natan has a great grip over it. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Cade Rotolo riding somewhat of a comfortable lead here, two points. This elevation by Natan. We've seen him get to that single leg X position from his Dele Hiva a couple times so far. Trying to get to that position again. Now Cade in the better passing position. Yep, looking for the leg drag. And to the other side now. Cade switching sides. Controlling that near side collar, trying to close the distance. One thing about Cade Rotolo is that he can keep a high pace for an entire match, no problem. You hear people in favor of Cade Rotolo saying that Natan Shuang is tired. I don't think he's tired, but in comparison to Cade Rotolo, typically the cardio is going to be in favor, and there's a big shot. Cade in a great single leg position. Right hand on the collar. Oh, Cade! Big mat return, puts Natan down. Two more points for Cade Rotolo. Increasing his lead and keeping the pace high. Two minutes left. Cade Rotolo of Atos Jiu Jitsu on top in the blue gi, leading Natan Chuang by four points. Natan controlling that far sleeve grip. Trying to off balance Cade, gets him to post on the mat. Now Cade trying to do an over under style pass. Natan so flexible, throws that left, left leg over. Trying to keep the hips elevated, now breaking away, trying to go to the side. In the corner of Cade Rotolo, his twin brother. 
Ty Ruotolo and Andre Gonval. Pair of IBJJF World Champions. One thing that the Ruotolos both do that is a little, I would say, against tradition is they, they throw pump fakes from the outside. Almost like they're going to throw a jab or something like that. Very unorthodox competitors, and I'd imagine extremely difficult to prepare for. Cade continually threatening that esteem -a lock and now threatening Right here, this could be tight. He's going for it. Gets an advantage. Trying to create an opportunity for a no hands leg drag. Only 20 seconds. And still trying to find the finish here is Cade Rotolo. Yeah, he's looking for any opportunity he can find to try to submit the ton. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! What in the world was that? Ever the showman, Cade Ruotolo is victorious in his IBJJF black belt debut. Great showing from Cade Ruotolo. Wins the match 4 0, starts with a beautiful double leg, finishes another single leg. Saw a bunch of really creative and Flashy moves from Cade, which is exactly what we were expecting from the Atos representative. First black belt victory in the Gi. And your winner is Cade Rutolo. And Cade Rutolo gets another victory for Atos Jiu-Jitsu, who's on an absolute roll tonight. Cade's gonna get his super fight GP trophy. We're going to take a look at a replay of Cade Rotolo's Black Belt Gi debut. Took on the always game, Natan Chuang. Gets to the double leg early, connects his hands, lifts Natan, slams him down to the mat. Does this little front flip at the end of the match. Cade Rotolo, never short on style points. Those were his second two points on that single leg finish. Amazing performance from Cade, and he's going to catch up with Jake. Let's talk about his Black Belt Gi debut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here victorious in his IBJJF Black Belt Gi debut, Cade Rotolo. Cade, you have been all over the world. You have competed in the highest level across so many different stages. How much does this victory mean to you? Oh, it's absolutely massive, you know, especially being my, my black belt debut. That's really been uh, the biggest thing for me coming into this event. Um, it's been probably two years since I last competed in the Gi. Um, I watched my brother do it twice, and I was just sitting in the stands just biting my teeth, you know. So it feels great just to brush off the cobwebs and then I get back in the Gi. You know, this black belt was one of my, my biggest accomplishments of my life, you know. So to tie it around my waist and to compete with it is a, it's a huge honor. It's no secret that you and your brother are among some of the most dynamic competitors, gi or no gi. You did a front flip in the match. Is that a part of the game plan coming into your matches to hit with unorthodox attacks? What is the game plan like coming into matches like these? And the game plan is always just to win, right? Just to, just to find the submission and win is the goal. Um, I knew in a short time, I was like, figured I'd send it. I felt him fading a lot. Um, you know, he's really starting to kind of drain towards the end of that match. So I was like, all right, why not just send it? But uh, yeah, you know, the, the, uh, the, the plan is always the same. I wasn't able to get the submission today. Um, he's a very tough opponent, really good grips. And I'm sure it won't be our, our first battle. I'm sure we many more to go. You mentioned in the press conference yesterday, one more question, I'll let you go. You mentioned that you wanted to be a complete martial artist. That in mind, where can we expect to see you next? Absolutely, yeah. So. Still kind of on the verge about what I got to do for points for Worlds, right? So whatever I got to do to make that happen, looks like I'm going to have to do that. Uh, qualify for Worlds. Um, I believe my brother has a match coming up in a few weeks, Nogi. And then after that, I'm going to be looking to make my MMA debut. So 
Um, MMA, ADCC, Worlds, that's on, that's on the agenda. Well, Cade, it's been a pleasure to watch you perform. We look forward to seeing you again. Ladies and gentlemen, Cade Ruotolo. Cade Ruotolo victorious in his Black Belt Gi debut. We'll go to a short break and we'll be back with our last Black Belt Gi super fight.